Alright guys, today with with uh, a new friendly way to flash your DVD tray, it's going to be really straightforward and really quick. First, you're going to want to update your Xbox to the newest dashboard, so connect it to live and update it if it's not already banned, or download it from their website and update it, because um, that's what you need to do, and especially if you plan on going live, because if you plan on going live after you flash, you can have the flashback is stuck, then flashback to this again for the update. So just update now, okay, update now. Once you're done with that, download Jungle Flasher. I have V version 0.1.92. And download your flashing firmware. Which should come from, um. It should come from iExtreme's website. I believe it was iExtreme's. Or just Google iExtreme LT Plus 3.0. And I have mine. And so, now the first thing you're gonna wanna do. Is open jungle flasher. So download and install jungle flasher. <clears throat> now you're gonna want to power on your Xbox and eject the tray. You have to have your Xbox apart for this, just in case you notice. Now pull out the power cord. Push the tray in halfway, like so, and put your power cord back in. You want to try and do this relatively quick, although I never do, you're supposed to. I don't know why it just closed. So since it closed, if it closes, eject it again. All power cord, push in to about There. This is for BenQ drives, by the way. Phillips and BenQ, not light on. Okay. So it flows back in. Now, go to the MTK Flash 32 and click BenQ Unlock. Send magic keys. And drive in better mode. Now, the, my drive's already flashed, so I'll show you how to flash it. Anyways, I'm just going to flash it back to this. So you're going to click, uh, read. Okay, I was wondering. It's going to click, it's going to read bank 0, 1, 2, and 3, and you're going to go where it says firmware you're going to name it whatever whatever you want the serial number of the console preferably and click save I already have that so I don't need to do it <clears throat> and now you got your DVD key and now you're going to go open target firmware go up go find your firmware you downloaded from my extreme and for BenQ for this BenQ which is the BenQ VAD 6038. It is LT plus 0442 V3.0.bin. See? Right there. See, it's the same one I have on here because I already have mine flashed. But, um, that doesn't matter. On yours, it's going to say stock if it's not flashed already. And then you'll want to flash it. And once you're done, it should say this. So mine says this now because it's already flashed. But, yeah. And now, so it doesn't have your DVD key. People say to edit it in, but you don't need to do that because of the fact that you're um you're not you're not switching from like a light on to a BenQ or a different model like a V80 6048 to a 6038. It's okay to spoof. So just go ahead and click spoof. And since it's all the same firmware and model and vendor and revision, it's okay. All it changes is the DVD key. And so now that that's done. It's going to say serial data already matches because of all this stuff, because it's the same. And then you're going to click, back, go back to the MTK Flash 32 file, and click write. Okay, now that's done, it's going to say write verify OK, so click read just to check it again. <coughs> Don't need to save that because it's just to check. Click no on the source firmware. 
Firmware Philips Ben Cube Digital Stores VAD. Firmware is LT Plus 3.0. So now the, the drive is successfully flashed. So now I'll go back to the MTK flash tab and click outro slash ATA reset. Drive is BenQ. And I always click it twice just to make sure. Alright, and now click your eject and close your tray. Turn off your console. And your drive is now successfully flashed. So I hope this helps. I hope it's not too complicated to follow um, like my last one was. So just follow these steps and that's how you flash your drive. So thanks for viewing.